David Lloyd, one of the most successful health clubs in the UK. It's notoriously expensive, and with a website which hides information better than the government buries its crimes, the question as to whether we could get into the best David Lloyd spa retreat in the UK, despite paying a membership of nearly £300 a month between us, remained unanswered. Are we gonna put it in, yeah? I think so. Regardless, with my membership coming to an end, I was willing to try. This is a story of hurdles and embarrassments. Okay, we've had a mild disaster. We wouldn't let us in. I'll answer the question, was it all worth it? I was in one of these moods. I never do anything spontaneous. So this is kind of like freaking me out a little bit. But my friend Izzy was feeling quite the opposite. It'll take a lot to impress me. So I decided to try and cheer her up. Hello. You fancy doing something really crazy? My plan was to drive two hours. Where is it? Maybe I shouldn't tell you that. Izzy was going to take some convincing though. Just a walk in the fucking wind Oh, come on! Uh... Yes! Okay, fine. <gasps> I did say to Izzy I was ready, but clearly I'm not. <laughs> Go get her. Ah, yeah. And on that note, it was time to get on the road. Spa retreats are different to normal David Lloyd's. They are supposedly the pinnacle of David Lloyd experiences. So despite the spa closing in less than three hours, we decided to see if we could arrange a spa treatment, you know, to get the full experience. Thank you for calling David Lloyd Club Fun. David Lloyd Club Fun. So I wouldn't know. That's David time lucky. Can you hear me better now? I can hear you perfectly right now. Yes, I can. So let's book this in for you. Finally. All booked. <laughs> Only took four phone calls. Let's go. After a quick stop off at Starbs, some disastrous coffee making, <laughs> and an unexpected trial of a pumpkin spice latte that will drink because I paid four pounds for it, we had yeah. finally arrived. So let's see. Can we get in? Then get into the spa because that's the real got, like devils on the gate. Our cars didn't actually work on the turnstile, but for some reason the lady at the front desk let us in. Oh no, it did. I needed to pull my graphic design skills out of the bin to help give some context of the layout of this place because the club is set up so that if you go in through the spa treatment area you can get into the spa but stupidly we've left our swimming costumes in the changing rooms. Being unable to access the spa via this route meant we had to parade into the cafe area in our towels. Okay we've had a mild disaster, we wouldn't let us in so we're gonna try and get around the other way but I really hope we get in. After some discussion out of pity I think they gave us two guest passes for free, despite apparently being £40 each. And with that, we were in. Yeah. Sure. Hello. You will not believe.
believer I've been. Uh, I need to pay first though. Whilst this journey was well worth the trip and the experience, the devilishly sneaky tier system means you're left in the dark as to whether you can get into a club with your current membership or whether you have to fork out extra. For fuck's sake, David Lloyd, sort it out.